Welcome WCC fans to Inside the WCC. With us today is WCC March Women's Tennis Player of the Month, Jenny Heinzer from the University of San Francisco. Welcome, Jenny. Hello. First off, um, congratulations on having an outstanding season and earning March Player of the Month honors. Can you talk about what it means to be recognized as the top women's tennis player in the conference this past month? Um, I mean, it's, it's just a, I mean, it's a great feeling. Um, yeah, I'm, this season, you have remained at the number one single spot and earned a 15-3 and three record. You have also climbed to number 59 in the nation. What has been the key to your success this season? Um, I mean, just a lot of hard work, you know, practicing every day, doing conditioning and weights, um, and just keeping my priorities straight and keeping my schedule make sure I get everything done. Being a student athlete, you know, it's difficult to organize and schedule everything. As the number one singles and doubles player, just as a sophomore, I bet there is a bit of pressure for you to step up into a leadership role. Can you talk about that and how you've been able to handle such a huge role as an underclassman? Athletically, I am a sophomore, but academically I'm a junior, so I don't really feel as much as an underclassman. Um, also, age-wise, I'm one of the older ones on my team, so it really wasn't a problem, or it wasn't that difficult for me. Um, and just in general, I feel like I've always had that, those, like, kind of leader um, characteristics or whatever, so it's, you know, it's kind of been natural, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like many teams in the WCC and around the nation, many of your teammates, including yourself, are from various hometowns outside of San Francisco and even the United States. Can you talk a little to how that affects your team chemistry and how you think that's helped you this season? Um, I'm not sure if that exactly has helped me. I mean, it's not really affected me. I mean, it's just, um, this year, We've gotten a lot closer because just we've been more open to everyone being from different places. But I don't think it's really been much of a factor to my tennis. It's more just like our relationships within our team. Now, this year's tennis championships are going to be held at the Barnes Tennis Center in San Diego on April 17th to 19th. This is the first year that it will be a dual event with both the men's and the women's championships held at the same site. Last year, you were named the 2008 Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year. What are you looking forward to at this year's WCC championships, and what are some of your expectations that you have for your team? Um, let's see. Expectations for my team... Um, last year we finished fourth, so, you know, I'm hoping to, you know, finish fourth or do better. Um, I'm looking forward to, you know, having the men there and, you know, being able to have that extra support and going out and supporting them. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, myself, you know, just, just, I'll just play my best and hopefully win all my matches at one. Great. Well, thank you, Jenny, for joining us today, and good luck to you at this weekend's WCC Championships. Thank you. That does it for this edition of Inside the WCC. WCC fans, log on to wcsports.com for your latest news, videos, podcasts, and exclusive merchandise.